Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come back every day. Why not? Just come back tomorrow. You know. We'll today be here. is another early park day. Yes. But today we're saying goodbye temporarily to Universal. And Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights. Because yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to guys, come back. When we're back in the park, it's Christmas time. It's baby and Christmas time. I know. But we're meeting up with Jill and James here mm -hmm. at Universal because we haven't seen them in a while. We want to see them before James comes. Yes. Um, and James one last. and James. James and James and Jill. <laughs> Triple J. All right, we are through security. Through temperature check. They did a good job of like spacing everybody out with a bunch of like back and forth situations. Yeah. I mean, to a degree, it's also dependent on other guests listening when there's not markers. Right. But should be good once we get past the hectic past hecticness of entrance to City Walk. Yeah. But we actually did see Jill and James in their queues. We're meeting them at Starbucks before we head in. I really hope HHN houses stay small wait times because I don't think Jill or James have gone to them yet and I want to get them because I've only been once and we're not going to come again while they're here so fingers crossed there's 13 scarecrows and skeletons look at this one <laughs> I'm at Halloween Horror Nights James you going in? Ready? Yeah. okay right. goodbye we'll go in the Christmas store okay here's another scarecrow Ooh. Um, it says it's a five minute wait, but they brought us into the sound stage to continue social distancing and AC. This is cool. I wonder if they used to have a house name, but they tore it down. Here we go. That's all my favorite of the two houses. James, did you like it? Yeah, that was good. I made James really go in good. front of me and I did my best not to scream in his ear because I don't think he knows that I'm a big crybaby in these houses. But it's my third time doing that house. And I really, and I think that I saw more details during this time than ever before. And I loved it. Five minute wait for Revenge of Tooth Fairy. Let's hit it. Whoa, in a similar fashion, it looks like when the line gets really long, they let you in this building for AC. But we don't have that. We're just going to walk straight in, I think. Even a five minute wait. We're three, three parties away from entering in the house. That's awesome. Then we're going to Harry Potter. All right. I jumped on, on James's back a few times in that one. <laughs> But do you notice how I said, how, like, I think I jinxed us. I was telling James how like the timing wasn't good, as good the first time I came. The timing wasn't good in that one. They had to keep stopping us before every room. Me and Jill just hung out in here while the guys did the houses. And now we're venturing for some treats. Oh my goodness. Look at this, which one is which? This is the garlic, this is yours. I got sour cream and chocolate. I got parm parmesan garlic. This, I had a realization when we were in line, this is Sarah's first ta uh, twisted tater. First, I, yeah. just like that. Oh, that powder exploded <laughs> all over you and your black dress. Jill, is this your first twisted tater? Yeah. You love it? It's very good. I like them when they aren't super fried. Like yours looks like the perfect amount of fried. Yeah, it's like kind of soft and crunchy. Yes. Yeah, like that like, total like That chip. doesn't happen like, with Sarah. like a funnel cake. Yes. Like, that's a Midwestern born person right there. You know the drill. It's been a dream of Sarah's to see those beat builders. Every time we walk by, they're like packing up, or there's no shows when we're here. But we're going to cool off after our twisted taters at Diagon Alley. Maybe Green Goths won't be long, but the wait times are getting up there. Yeah. But okay, maybe some more treats? Yes, maybe. Okay. It's 210 minutes. <laughs> We don't usually get these. Here you there. go. Thank you so much. We finished our butter beers. I finished mine. Sarah's still drinking hers. But we're going to go check out, since Jill is our go to animal expert in Central Florida, we've come to the animal store. <laughs> this 
this we'll get to in the Halloween spirit. Um, I don't think this prep store has been open since everything. Yeah. And look at these trolls. They got trolls, they got Christmas stuff, they got garland for sale, I think. Unless this is not for sale. Oh, I might need some of this. Prints are super cool. 25 doll hairs for that one. Yeah. They come home with a twisted tater oh sign. They had them at Mardi Gras? Yeah, a different version. Oh. Ooh, Mardi Gras the Blues. Pizza at what is this place called? Red Oven. Red Oven. Yeah, it looks really yummy. White sausage, sausage, humongous. Margarita. They are really good. Well, we came home and I ran into the washroom and I come out <laughs> to this site. Everybody's relaxing. She looks so cozy. I love these park mornings. But I feel like then we're toast the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, stretches. Hey. I just want to relax too. I don't want to play. We've been home for a while now. Sarah took a nap. I took like a 10 minute nap. I was watching some, some documentary on cyber threats and attacks. Google session replay scripts. Makes you feel really good about yourself in the digital era. Um, but we're just hanging out now. Sarah's about to edit. She's really upset about it. I want a rotisserie chicken. She just told me she wants a rotisserie chicken, which just makes me feel like. Ugh. Noah's I'm making something delicious. Rolls. Hey, it's my pop. Me and Sarah and I were just talking about how cute it's gonna be when James is like a little boy sitting here. And Eve like lays out and gonna be longer than his legs and he'll be like, Mom, look, Eve's longer than my legs. Like what she's doing now. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, we watched My Octopus Teacher, mm -hmm. which has solidified that I'm going at least vegetarian. And I think yeah. it's gonna go back to being vegan. Well we we have gone a bit overboard. <laughs> overboard. In some senses, like we're still like at home eating plant based, but we've just kind of like embraced this new decision. And like, I have another headache tonight where I've lost my vision, and Peter's been battling headaches. And it's just like, it kind of like we've just been feeling like we can feel the change from changing our diet. Um, oh gosh. So, yeah, I think we'll, we'll rein it in a little bit. Yeah. So Sarah's gonna rest. Yeah. Um, we're gonna put on the, the the trial of the Chicago Seven, yeah. which is a new Netflix movie about some uh, protesting. I think the Vietnam War. Yeah. In Chicago, so it'd be cool to see maybe some famous spots, some old hangouts of ours. But clearly, we also have to, to tend to the needs of this puppy. October eighteenth. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Joseph Campbell. Get in good trouble. Well. That's what that movie reiterated. Yeah. That's a quote by John Lewis. But did, we said that we were watching that movie, right? I think so. I think we said we were talking, we were going to watch it. What was it called again? The Trial of the Chicago Seven. Yeah, on Netflix. It was good. There wasn't any like Chicago elements to it. <laughs> Chicago, like, visually. No, there was like a few, but... I think it was a soundstage. I think it was a, not a soundstage, a studio. <laughs> I know Chicago <laughs> when I see it. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh, and we wanted to make sure that we said, remember to vote. Call. Vote. Make a plan. Good night. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.